When the weather turns chilly, I love pulling my sleeves down over my hands. This somehow cuffs hack means you can still hold your cup of tea and play with your phone. You can add the cuffs to pretty much any sweatshirt, sweater or cardigan pattern you like as long as it has cuffs. I'm going to demonstrate on the Bertha cardigan, which is a sewing pattern that's in my book, Make It Simple. You'll need about 10 centimetres or 1 8 of a yard extra fabric for the cuffs. Make your cuff pattern 30 centimetres or 11 and 3 quarter inches long by the width of the sleeve hem. Add four thumb hole notches down each longer side at 8 centimetres or 3 8 of an inch and 14 centimetres or 5 and a half inches from each end. Cut two cuffs, the longer side of the pattern parallel to the lengthwise grain of the fabric. Snip the thumb hole notches. Fold the cuffs lengthways, right sides together, bringing together the notch seams. You can pin them if you like. We're going to sew the long edges on each cuff together, leaving the thumb holes unstitched. Using a narrow zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine, sew from one end to the first notch, back tacking securely at each end. Start sewing again from the second notch to the third notch, back tacking again at each end. Then sew from the fourth notch to the end, again back tacking securely. Press the seam allowances open, then fold the cuff in half, widthways, wrong sides together, bringing the thumb holes on top of each other. Hold the seam allowances on one side of the thumb hole so they're together inside the cuff. Reach inside the cuff with your other hand between the top two layers and pinch these seam allowances together from the inside between a finger and thumb. Carefully pull the pinched seam allowances out through the cuff opening so they're wrong sides out. Pin them together along the thumb hole pulling the rest of the fabric out of the way. Stitch these seam allowance layers together across the hole with a 12mm or half inch seam allowance, being careful not to catch any other layers in the stitching. Turn the cuff right sides out again. Pin and stitch the seam allowances on the other side of the thumb hole the same way. Turn the cuff right sides out again and press. To make the thumb holes extra secure, you can top stitch a small bar tack at each end of the hole. Use a wide and short zigzag, so around 5mm wide by 0.7 to 1mm long. Repeat with the second cuff, then you can attach the cuffs to your cardigan or sweatshirt, aligning the seams. And that's it! Snugly DIY thumb hole cuffs!